The Magnificent Beard. Some are scruffy, some unkempt, some well-groomed, and others are quite artsy and unique, to say the least. They can also be sexy, filthy, and also deadly? Some stories are so bizarre that they may seem totally unbelievable, perhaps because they're either partly true, partly bogus, or completely one or the other. Hi, I'm Carol, and I'm an historical enthusiast seeking rare and unusual tales to uncover their bizarre history. Here's a tale of a man some of you may have heard about before. He lived during the 16th century and was known for his exquisite and lavishly long beard. Hans Steininger was a burgomaster, aka mayor of a small town in Austria, located right on the border of Germany called Braunauamen. He's said to have been a very popular man, both for his amazing beard, which, according to the legend, was over four and a half feet long, and also because he was a well-liked mayor. In fact, his popularity with the townsfolk earned him multiple terms. The tale of Hans's illustrious beard is one that's been circulating the internet for quite some time now. There are even pictures floating around on the internet of a man who's said to be Hans Steininger, fitting the description almost to a T. But the mere fact that the man in a photograph appears simply in a photograph suggests that this is likely not Steininger himself, as his lifetime predates the advent of photography by a really long shot. This, however, is a testament to how little is available on Hans apart from the legendary tale of his beard, which he is said to have fallen victim to. Yes, that's right. As one could imagine, having a beard of that stature might have moments where it could interfere with his day-to-day -day activities, and thus Hans is said to have typically rolled up his lengthy facial hair and tucked it away in a pocket. But on September 28th, 1567, as the story goes, on this fateful day, Hans did not do his usual beard-in-pocket method, and when a fire broke out causing panic in the town, Steininger was said to have been fleeing for safety when he tripped over his iconic beard, falling down a flight of stairs and ultimately breaking his neck, dying instantly from this mishap. What makes the story even more unfortunate is that he was attempting to evade some sort of casualty to begin with. Bizarre tale, right? Though the story has become somewhat of a legend, and despite the fact that he was very popular in his time, records on his life are somewhat scarce which proved difficult for researchers to fully verify if the details surrounding his death are all intact or perhaps, like many stories turned legend, have in part been embellished over time. Surviving his death and outliving the face that grew it is Hans's now 454-year-old beard. His epic facial hair, which has been authenticated by experts and chemically preserved for future generations, can be seen at the District Museum Herzogsberg in Braunauamen. As far as what he might have looked like, the only depiction of Hans is an epitaph of him proudly displaying his epic beard. It was sculpted in his memory and is located at the St. Stephen's Church in Braunauamen. What's interesting about making videos like this is I end up learning things I didn't expect, such as Studies suggest that the evolution of the beard, interestingly enough, might have been as a means of helping to protect one's face from injury during battles. According to a study published in the journal Integrative Organismal Biology, the hairs of a dense beard can collectively help diffuse a blow by cushioning or absorbing forces directed at the face. I myself am a fan of the beard. Stroke my imaginary beard all the time. Growing your beard down to your feet is quite impressive, but it seems that it, according to this legend, might also be a bit of a liability. Despite the inevitability of stories being molded and altered as it travels from person to person, to cultures to centuries, what does stand true in this case is that Hans Steininger did exist and he actually did have an epically long beard. Whether it killed him in the way that's widely believed remains only a legend to be told. And if the details as told are indeed accurate, then this ironic tragedy ought to be heeded as a cautionary tale. So for all you beard growers out there, consider yourself warned. I mean, if this gets any longer, I may have to heed this warning too. <laughs>